Hi, this is Andy Munitz for Sony Broadcast, and in this short video, we're going to explore Sony's second generation UWP wireless microphone system and discuss the design considerations that are engineered into every Sony wireless microphone system. But I thought I'd first let you know that Sony's been involved with making professional wireless microphones for over 35 years, since 1974, and in fact have been responsible for introducing to the industry several wireless technologies that eventually became standard features even in other manufacturers' products. For example, Sony was first to introduce a tunable frequency synthesized VHF microphone system in 1983. Before that, if you wanted to change the channels on your wireless mics, you had to have them recrystalled. We were also first to introduce a camera slot-in tuner for broadcast camcorders in 1995. In 1996, we introduced a 42-channel simultaneous system, and in 2000, we introduced the industry's first dual-channel portable diversity tuner. And today, we continue with major new developments with the recent introduction of the industry's most advanced true all-digital wireless microphone system. That's over 35 years of wireless innovation, and we've only touched on a few of them here. But what I hope you'll see from these examples is that Sony has had a philosophy of designing wireless microphone systems that ensures that they offer a hassle-free experience. So, to accomplish this goal, all Sony wireless mic systems employ, at the most basic level, the following designs to help ensure a great user experience. Diversity reception is first and foremost the most important technology that we feel needs to be in any wireless mic system. And that includes even designing this feature into a portable camera mic system. Not necessarily that easy a thing to do when designing such a small camera mountable tuner package. Well, for those of you that may have heard the term diversity reception, but were never quite sure of what it really means, here it is. If you think of me as the microphone transmitter, the handheld mic or body pack with lavalier mic, for example, I'm basically a radio station, and I'm sending my radio waves out in all 360 degrees. Now, think of yourself as the tuner or receiver of that radio signal. You've got a tuner section tuned into my frequency and an antenna to help receive the signal better. Okay, so now you're going to receive my radio waves and get many of them directly from me to you, and that's great. The problem comes when one of my other waves bounces off some other hard surface and reflects back to you, but this time with a wave that may be out of phase with the signal I'm sending directly to you. If you remember back to high school physics class, two waves out of phase with one another cancel each other out. And when that happens, you get a dropout. And of course, these dropouts can happen at the worst possible time, like when a bride and groom are giving their wedding vows. What many people don't necessarily understand is that this is not a distance-dependent problem. It can happen even at short range. Dropouts are really caused by these unwanted reflections, something called multipath interference. Okay, so that's the problem. Now, how do we design a system to deal with the problem? That's where diversity reception comes in. In the case of Sony wireless mic systems, we employ a system that is called true diversity, or sometimes referred to as true space diversity. What this means is that instead of you having only one tuner and one antenna, you now have two complete tuner sections and two complete antennas, both tuned to my transmitter frequency. And in addition, we give you a comparator circuit that constantly looks at each tuner and determines which has the stronger signal and automatically and noiselessly switches to listen to that one. And this switch can happen really fast and really often, and it's so quiet you won't even know when it's happening. So, in other words, if a dropout condition occurs on one of the tuner sections, the system will switch over to the cleaner one, and because of the small distance between the antennas mounted on the tuner, it's highly unlikely that there'll be a dropout condition on both tuner sections at the same time. Again, this is what's called true diversity, and that's quite a bit of circuitry to fit into a small portable package. And also, by the way, it's a challenge to maintain great battery life for supporting the extra circuitry, but that's what our systems do. And we even get several hours of battery life with only a couple of AA batteries. Of course, there are other quote-unquote diversity systems out there, antenna-only diversity where there's only one tuner but two antennas, a more noisy switching system in our opinion, and there's also adaptive diversity, also not what we consider to be a true diversity design. 
Well, that's diversity, kind of a long and complicated description, but since it's such a critical design feature, I thought it was worth going into a bit of detail. Another one of the features that we put into our design is channel synthesis tuning. This simply means that you can change channels on both the transmitter and tuner if the channel you're currently on has interference on it. In our UWP series, you can dial in any one of 188 different frequencies. Another feature related to this is built-in channel grouping. This means that if you have more than one system in operation in the same location, you want to make sure that their different frequencies don't bleed into each other and cause unwanted interference. We offer channel grouping plans of pre-tested frequency selections that are known not to interfere with one another. And your systems can be set so that you can have up to 16 systems operating simultaneously without any interference from one another. And the information on how to set all of the frequencies is not just written into a manual that got left in the shop or lost, but are actually burned into the chips of the tuner. So that you'll always have that grouping information with you whenever you need it. We also offer tone squelch circuitry, which prevents both popping when turning the transmitter on or off, and also prevents unwanted transmissions from making their way into and out through the receiver units. Another useful feature we put into all of our units is a battery countdown timer, so that when you put in a new set of batteries and zero out the counter, you can see how many hours the batteries have been used for. If you can expect about eight hours of battery life, and you've only used two hours in your last session, but only need to use about three hours in today's session, go ahead and save the money of putting in new batteries. And finally, we put a headphone output on our portable tuners, in addition to the audio outputs. This means that if you have the tuner feeding a camera and you're monitoring with headphones through the camera and you hear something wrong, you can't be sure where the problem is. Is it in the wireless or in the camera? But with a headphone out on the tuner, you can check the signal between the transmitter and the tuner and confirm that it's clean, helping you diagnose the problem. A really good thing to have. Well, that's a brief overview of the common features that we put in all of our wireless systems to help give you a reliable wireless experience. Now, more specifically, I wanted to share with you some of the features and benefits of our new second generation UWP wireless mic system. Our new UWP system builds on our very popular first generation UWP system, but improves on its design in the following ways. First of all, the UWP system is based on pre-configured packages that include all of the components necessary for a particular application, including both the transmitter, microphone, tuner, mounting hardware, and necessary cables, all coming in at a very affordable price point. The new UWP series is now built with all metal construction, and it makes it very small and lightweight, and it's extremely rugged and durable for use in those portable field applications. We've now added channel scanning in our tuners that will scan the available wireless spectrum and let you know which channels are available for use, even a particular channel group. The body pack transmitters now come supplied with a newly designed lavalier microphone with a brand new capsule design. And it's smaller than our last generation model too. And our new handheld mic also has a new dynamic capsule. Both our body pack and plug-on transmitter models offer both mic level and line level inputs. This can be really useful, for example, if you want to take the line output of a mixer and send it back to a portable camera. This can be really handy when you need it. All of our transmitters, body pack, handheld, offer RF output power settings, both low and high power, where you can set on low power setting for multi-system use or on high power settings for those long range applications. We also offer, and this is unique in the industry, a modular tuner option, allowing up to six plug-in tuners to be mounted in a single rack mount space. For permanent installations or larger portable systems, this can really save on the amount of rack space that you have to use or carry around. And of course, we provide all of the accessories and mounting hardware necessary to mount the portable diversity tuners cleanly on your camcorder, be it from Sony or another manufacturer. As a microphone option, we also offer the ECM322 BMP headset mic that can be used as an alternative to the lavalier mic that comes with the body pack transmitter. And replacement accessory items such as windscreens and clips that might get lost or damaged are also available through your Sony Pro Audio dealer. Well, there you have it, a pretty comprehensive overview of Sony's advanced wireless microphone design philosophy 
and an in-depth look into our new second generation UWP microphone system. To see all of the different packages and options available, please go to our website, sony.com slash proaudio, or visit your Sony professional audio dealer. And thanks for watching. Thank you.